There's only one way to get out of tutorial hell and it's start building stuff. I see it on Reddit. I see a bunch of videos popping up for it. How do I get out of tutorial hell? I'm stuck doing tutorials all the time. I don't know what I'm doing. You're never going to know what you're doing until you start building your own projects. And I know that many people get stuck on not knowing what they should build for their first projects. Just Google good first beginner projects for X kind of developer. If you're doing web development, go on Free Code Camp, go on the Odin project. They have projects there that they have you build when you do their curriculum and do some of those if you need some good beginner projects. If not, just search around. One quick Google search and you'll find a bunch of ideas for projects that you can build. A few good beginner projects for web developers is your portfolio. It's really simple. Just Build a portfolio, build some fake web pages. Go find a web page that you like and try to build it. And I'm not saying go and build Twitter or go and build Reddit because that's really complicated for someone who's new to web development or programming, but go and build the UI for it. Go and build the landing page of Google. Go and build the landing page of Facebook. Even if it's just static elements on there, just try to try to make it an HTML and CSS. If you're focusing more on trying to learn JavaScript and stuff, go build a paper rock scissors or a tic-tac-toe or a weather widget or a Pomodoro timer or anything. Just write a few if else statements on your own. Go and check out Code Wars and do some of their easier algorithms. Do some of the easy algorithms on Free Code Camp. That'll just get you writing code and it'll give you an idea of how to problem solve. Like that, when you come across a problem in one of your own personal projects, you'll understand how you have the right code in order to get things to happen in your application. And if all you know is HTML and CSS, because that's really all I felt comfortable with when I was first learning, then build some stuff in HTML and CSS and then start adding a little bit of JavaScript. Start trying to communicate with APIs, start trying to talk to the back end, start learning little by little, step by step. That's all you have to do is don't get hung up on the tutorials. And that's why I always tell people to focus on curriculum that is project-based learning. Don't waste too much time doing tutorials that have you build a certain application while you do it. That's good when you're first getting started just so you can understand how things work inside of an application from the back to the front. But if you do too many of those, you're not really gonna learn anything because you're just copying somebody else's code. You're watching somebody else do it and you're just, you're just doing what you see them do. And then many of the times they just have the answer and they just have the source code for that project. So when you do get stuck, you end up just copying and pasting their code and not really knowing why. I remember I did that a bunch. I would do these tutorials that I would follow along with and then when I would get stuck on something and I couldn't figure it out and I would backtrack through the video or the tutorial that I was doing and I was just like, all right, that's it. I, I don't know why it's not working. I would just go and copy and paste all the code and dump it into my code and then have it work and then voila, magic. I have this big application that I don't even know how it's built. That's only good for you when you're first getting started. If you you've already been studying for a couple of months, you should already be building projects. If it's been a few months and you're, you haven't built anything on your own yet, I did this. I, I got hung up on trying to learn as much as I could and I was scared to open up a text editor and do stuff on my own until a few months into my learning. I was reading books, I was watching videos, I was doing tutorials that I followed along with, Udemy courses and YouTube videos, and I never wrote a single line of code that was all my own until I started doing free code camp and I started working through some of the projects they had there. And then I started doing some of the Odin project stuff. And then I started looking for other projects. And then I started building some little things on my own. And like I said, even if it's just writing an if else statement for some logic that you just want to figure out on your own, do that. Do, do small little projects until you build something bigger. If you need to get comfortable just doing some things on your own, start small but start building sooner than later. If not, you're gonna end up doing a bunch of tutorials and then still feel like you don't know anything. Trust me, I've been there. And I know I hype up Free Code Camp, and I know I talk about Odin Project. Even if it's not those resources, just look for project-based learning in whatever you're trying to learn. Don't just follow along with other people coding it's gonna help you just slightly. The truth is you make your own hell. If you're doing too many tutorials, you know you've done too many tutorials. I honestly say just start building stuff as soon as you have a basic understanding of things and Google everything that you need to Google. Build more, learn less, don't focus so much on theory and get more practice. Practice is where the real learning happens. You don't need to know everything to start building stuff. 
Trust me, I did it myself. I've been there. I know what it's like. I talk about it all the time. You sit there and you stare at the screen and you're, you're just blank. You have nothing and that's okay. Just Google stuff, try to find the answer. And if you are working through some of the projects on Free Code Camp or the Odin Project and you get stuck, Google the answer because a bunch of people have already done it. But I wouldn't suggest just following someone on YouTube that's building that project. I say, try to build it yourself and then look for the answer on what you're stuck on. Don't look for someone who's building the project for you. Build it yourself. And that's how you get out of tutorial hell. One step at a time, building projects and moving forward. That's all you got to do. Sounds easy, but I know it's not because I went through it myself. Trust me, if you're going through it, I totally understand. It's completely normal to feel how you feel right now, that you don't know anything and you think you need to watch another tutorial in order for you to learn a little bit more just so you can get started. Not true. Get started and that's all you need to do to get out of tutorial hell. All right, with all that said, I'm gonna wrap this video up. I meant for this to be short and sweet and I hope it helps somebody out there who's stuck in tutorial hell right now and just burning in the depths and the fire of tutorial hell. And if this helps you get out of it, let me know in the comments and make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel for more tips and tricks on becoming a self-taught programmer and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.